everybody, this video from General Pipe Cleaners is designed to get you ready to use the FlexiRooter 100. Okay? It's not meant to be a substitute for reading the operating instructions or the safety instructions. So please do that before you use this machine. However, let's get started with this. The first thing that you have to decide when you're using the FlexiRooter 100 is what kind of pipe you're going to be going down, what size pipe and what's the composition. What are you going to encounter along the way? With that information, you'll decide what kind of chain cutter that you're going to use on the end of the flexible shaft. Well, let's take a look at these. We have some for very small pipes, you know, two inch, inch, inch and a half to two inch, and some larger ones. We have one made up, which is a carbide tipped flexible shaft uh, cutter. And you notice that it has bits of carbide on the chain. This is designed to actually be used in a cast iron pipe, either to cut roots, do other kind of heavy duty cutting and cleaning, or do descaling. You would not want to use this in a plastic pipe because it would damage the pipe. You notice that you have connectors front and back on this and a sheath in the middle that protects the flexible shaft. You would use the middle sized Allen key that comes with a kit in order to tighten these uh, connectors down. You want to make sure that you leave enough room so they can do, let's say, a three or four inch pipe, but not too much room, okay? Get them adjusted properly. We have another chain cutter set up on the machine itself. Let's take a look at that. You notice this chain cutter is smooth. It doesn't have the carbide tips on it. This is designed for PVC or plastic. It has a clog chopper on the front end. The way you put this together is you put the clog chopper on first, again, using the mid-sized Allen key. And then you put the first coupler, first adapter, up right up against the uh, clog chopper. The rear one, you leave a little bit of room between that and the flexible shaft coupler on the front end of the flexible shaft. Again, still has a sheath on the inside. So let's show how you position the machine. So we've positioned the machine on its side as recommended. When it's in this position, the reel will turn much smoother. Okay? So before we start, let's take a look at what's inside the reel, the controls for the machine. Okay? Now, before we started this video, I plugged the machine in and I checked the GFI. Always check the GFI to make sure it's functioning before you operate any electrical equipment. So it's the most important piece of safety equipment on a machine. It can keep you from being electrocuted. Okay? So always do that first. And you notice the power button is right there in the middle. Turn it on, it lights up it off and it goes out. And we have a brake here. It's a ratchet style brake. When it's on, it allows for easy transport. I'm going to loosen it up so I can turn the reel. We have a control for the speed right here. You tighten it and the speed goes faster. You loosen it and it goes slower. And then we have a slip clutch right here. And that's designed for safety and to protect the integrity of flexible shaft. Okay, Make it less likely you're going to break something. Now let's say you had to take the flexible shaft all the way out of the reel in order to lubricate it or to do some repairs. All you do is you take the plastic cover off the flexible shaft. You'll notice that there is a flexible shaft coupler identical to this on the end, on the front end of the slip clutch. Okay, just loosen that. Everything else is logical. The flexible shaft can come out of the, uh, out of the reel very easily, allow whatever work needs to be done. Okay. Now, before I even start up, before I even turn the machine on, I'm going to put the, uh, the chain cutters down the drain. And then I'm going to put on some eyewear and gloves. Now, these happen to be two-ply leather gloves, same as we use for our, our snake cell machines. You don't have to use something quite this heavy duty, but we do recommend that you use gloves when using this machine. Okay. After I have everything set up, my eyewear, my gloves, my chain cutters down the drain, then, and only then, do I turn on the machine. You always want to hide this before you turn the machine on because you don't want the chain cutter to be anywhere close to you when someone could accidentally step on the foot pedal and turn the machine on. This is the primary safety consideration you have to keep in mind for this machine. Okay, always be aware of where the chain cutter is, okay? So now with this technique is you use both hands on the flexible shaft. And you notice that I'm stuck, okay? It won't go past the first elbow. 
So the technique that we use is called bump and rub. You just run it for a, a few seconds at most, and the chains sort of lift the flexible shaft away from the sides of the pipe, allows it to go around bends, elbows, tees. So push a little bit further with the machine off. And now I've reached a T. So again, let's bump and run. And I'm past. So you just push the flexible shaft down the drain without the motor being on. That's the way to use it until you reach the obstruction. When you do reach the obstruction, you use the same kind of philosophy that you'd use on one of our snake style machines. Gentle forward back, letting the rotation of the chain cutter do the work. We're not using it as a battering ram. We're not trying to force our way through the obstruction. Even with a clog chopper on the end, let the rotation do the work. So you can also use this with a camera. In fact, we recommend it. We recommend putting the camera head about 18 inches behind the chain cutter. That way it's protected and you can get a good view of what's going on down the pipe. So you can do a surgical strike. You can place the chain cutter exactly where it needs to be in order to do the most good and then complete the job. When you're done, pull the flexible shaft back, cleaning and disinfecting as you go. When you notice it's starting to come out of the drain, then you turn the machine off. Pull the chain cutter out and take a look at it. Is the clog chopper still there? Is the chain still intact? Is everything the way it needs to be? Again, this has been rotating at 2000 RPM. Make sure that there are no repairs that need to be done. So this gives you a really good idea on how to get started with the FlexiRooter 100. Any other questions that come up, feel free to call the drain brings at 800-245-6200. They'll be able to help you. General pipe cleaners, the toughest tools down the line.